building bridges has been created in Solihull to uh, um, make uh, Muslim integrate with the local community. Um, it's supposed to create cohesion, understanding, and make Muslims part of the uh, Solihull uh, at whole. With the faith community, um, we have been meeting with other faith for many, many years. Actually, we started meeting with the faith community since 2001. We visited the Methodist Church, we went to the Anglican Church, we've been to the United Reformed Church, uh, we've been to the Mormon uh, Church, and we invited Christian scientists. Um, we invited the the Sikh community to, to us, so we also vis visited the synagogue and we spoke with the Jewish community. Uh, well, I think my main involvement with Building Bridges has been through a couple of events, really. Mm -hmm. The first was the um, Imams versus Vickers cricket match at Hampton in Arden. Mm -hmm. So I played for the Vickers and um, managed to score one run. <laughs> but uh, unfortunately, we were sad and beaten. On another occasion, I came to speak to the Bill and Bridges group about the different Christian denominations. The thing I've discovered in the last year or so is that there's so much I don't know about the Muslim faith and that culture and that community. And Stop Press, I want to know because the more I discover, the more interesting, the more fascinating it is. Now, Building Bridges is trying also to help uh, a lot of charities in Solihull. They jump, put um, a quiz night, and some we raised money for the autistic children. Mainly Building Bridges have helped us to raise money through doing a car wash at the fire station and raising loads of money for us um, to help us to take more kids away on holiday. I also appreciate that I think there's a very sincere effort on the part of Building Bridges Islamic Initiative to do just that, build bridges, make connections with the rest of society, try and explain themselves to the rest of society and try and be understood better yeah. by the rest of society and understand the rest of society better. Building Bridges has been helping um, many schools, they've been helping Solihull Sixth Form, uh, we helped Solihull College as well and uh, we've been to many schools to give assemblies. And so with the Building Bridges Association uh, in particular, what we've done is we have members on the uh, Independent Advisory Group um, on a social level, um, we're also looking at uh, having a game of football between the Solihull Police and uh, the Building Bridges Association, which will be you know, quite competitive, I'm sure, and uh, a good way of socialising with different sections of the community to try and uh, knock down a few of the barriers. I think that's got to be the key to everything, especially at the moment. There's um, definitely prejudice and fear of the Muslim community. I think the more that we can do to bring us together as one whole community, the better really. So anything that we can do to try and build the bridges and encourage um, acceptance of everybody. Building bridges, not only building bridges between Muslims and non-Muslims, actually working hard on building bridges between Muslims themselves. When I've got two kids who are nine and seven, they're growing up surrounded by Muslim children and they get on absolutely great. And what I really want is for that to be replicated elsewhere. But the Muslim community has an absolutely essential, integral part of that process. Because I, as a white person, I can't complete that bridge. So building bridges is this is what the Muslim community can add to the community in the broadest sense.
Um, well, I hope we can continue to work with Building Bridges and um, I think we've learned as a charity, we've been running for 40 something years and I think we've learned so much from Building Bridges already in the, way, in the style of the way they do things. So I hope we can continue to work with them and hopefully raise more money and build more bridges. Well, I hope very much that work can continue. I, I hope that, uh, particularly through the Faith Forum, we can make representations to the Council that, that do um, keep faith in the forefront of the society that we live in. I hope the future holds a community that, that hasn't got barriers, the barriers that perhaps I grew up with and previous generations have grown up with. يا لطيف ألطف بنا ألطف بنا